All right, so we did just get a new toolbar here and it's not new by any means, but after I'm done with it, it's gonna be new. We're just getting it ready here for planting season. It's gonna be a rolling cultivator. So right now I'm just kind of prepping it, cleaning it off, and then once it dries, I'm gonna prime and paint it. Please, please don't judge my painting skills. I'm not a professional, nor do I really care. I'm just trying to make it look a little better and keep it from rusting. Then once it's painted, we'll start building it and putting it together here. So anyways, this is um, kind of the toolbar here. It was to a John Deere planter. This is what it looks like. You know, not in bad shape. It's There's some rusty spots. Got our pressure washer here. And it also has a burner in it, so. We're gonna try it out. I can't really see because the sun's in my eyes, but um, I finished cleaning it off here. As you can tell, I don't know if you can even tell, but I can tell. I'm pretty dirty, um, but it went smoothly other than kind of uh, trying to get those stickers off that were on the toolbar. So other than that, looks good. It's on a painting now. This paint gun, let me tell you, don't even know what brand it is. Wagner, Wagner brand. It was like 50 bucks. And I've already painted several implements with it. Works like a charm. I'm gonna attempt to wrap this thing. I don't know if this uh, stuff, how this plastic stuff works. So, I'm just gonna rip it. Beautiful. Okay, wow, I'm nice. Anyways, she's all wrapped. Of course this happens, so I'm just minding my business hoses off right after I just washed this thing too. I knew I should have taken them off earlier but I just thought there should be no pressure in these. Seems like I was wrong. That sucks. All right so not sure if you can hear me. I know I'm outside but I'm still not breathing paint. So, I'm getting ready to prime it right now as we speak. I feel like I'm Bill Nye the science guy, if anyone understands what I'm talking about. But we're going to start priming that thing right now. It's going to be amazing. Well, I just uh, finished priming this thing here. Looks pretty good. I did mess up on this side, but this side is good. That side's a little bad. The uh, gun wasn't set to the right settings, the uh, paint gun, so kind of spewed out everywhere. But um, I don't know. I think it looks good. I got this. Honestly, I was at Tractor Supply when I was getting primer, and I saw this uh, gray... Massey Ferguson gray paint. Never have tried it before. Don't know what it's gonna look like. I hope it looks like what I have pictured in my head. But, you know, if not, it's whatever. Uh, it's probably just gonna rust again anyway. So, we are going to mix that paint up and then Go ahead and start painting this thing. And I will get back to you with the results. Well, I'm all finished up with this. Can't really see, but just finished painting it. And now we're onto the fun stuff. We're gonna be putting on the brackets and everything else that goes along with it. 
and little spider wheels. So we'll continue to be building this. I think it looks a lot better. Obviously, I'm not a professional painter, but you know, it turned out good for a $50 paint gun and me, my skills. So yeah, well, I think that's it for today. We'll be back Monday where we will start building it and putting it together. Hey y'all, so we are on day three now of the rolling cultivator build here. We are putting on all this junk here behind me on the toolbar now. And I gotta tell you the color scheme that we have here, it looks absolutely clean. I think it's mint with the red, the black, and the gray. But, so we measured everything out where everything was going. I probably should have done some recording, but we gotta get this done like this week. Ran into a problem here. Since we run 38 inch rows, this toolbar was set up on 36. Um, we have right where this bend is, where the bar folds up, it's a stack fold. We got a place where one of our spider bars should be or whatever. And so it won't work right there. So what we're gonna do is we're having the guys manufacture little L bracket on this one as well as the other side and then there's two bars kind of in the center here where it won't fit so they're doing some other stuff there as well I talked to them this morning and they said it should be pretty easy so hopefully that turns out good while we were working on it this morning we did put these back plates brackets on um, tighten all the bolts and everything here so we also did try out one of these arms right here and that works out. So we're just gonna get to it. Um, Chase is supposed to be coming back up here soon. We did go back for lunch, but I took a very short lunch. So just waiting on him because these things are pretty heavy and I'm not that strong. I might look strong, but I'm not. So gonna be uh, replacing those lights right there and Hopefully wiring them up, making them nice because I did paint over them. I probably should have covered them, but they didn't even work anyway, so why worry about it? I love the colors with the toolbar, like I said, this gray and the black and the red. It's going to look clean, so let's get started, get this build finished here. It's been uh, windier than heck today. So today was somewhat of day four of building that rolling cultivator. And I'm gonna be honest, I did not want to record it at all because it was way too windy. So, you know, I just was not in the mood. So we worked on it for quite some time today, but we also, we got the planner out and moved and we're just getting other things ready. So we didn't really work on it too much, but we did get two of those extra brackets on that will attach to our arms because that's where the fold was but so we got that on and then I feel like we did a lot but now that I think about it oh we did the hydraulic hoses lights and something else but it's not, it's not clicking. I'm uh, ran out of energy from the wind, but we can take a look at it and kind of show you the progress. There hasn't been too much from yesterday, but I think it still is looking better and better as we go, so. All right, so uh, that's kind of what she looks like here. These right here were the extra, well, these kind of new brackets that we had to build for it to come out because this is a stack full bar. So 
it will stick out a little further, which kind of stinks, but it's all right. I think it looks good. Got some new lights on there. Done by yours truly, me. And yeah, she's coming together. Put on new hoses. We still have quite a bit to do. But she is going. I started to use it. That's where these spiders will attach under that, the rollers. But uh, yeah, she's looking good. The back hoe we actually had to put on because it started tipping back off these stands here. So we did have to put that up there just in case. But yeah, that's about it for today. And I just pray that it's not windy tomorrow because I'll die. Well, you gotta love the spring uh, wind here. But anyways, the build here, it's complete. We got it done. And sadly, I did not record most of the uh, actually putting everything together. We had a deadline that had to be met. We obviously, we finished it. It's out in the field now and it's running. And we are just about to start planting here. But a little quick breakdown of what we did, just so you guys get a little idea. We basically put a lot of nuts and bolts and lock washers and washers and more nuts and bolts and washers. These things right here were quite a pain to lift up and put on, but me, Dad, and Chase, we got them on. The bars were pretty simple, but everything, you know, was pretty easy, pretty simple, except for like the lifting up and stuff. Sadly, I didn't have enough time to uh, paint these back plates here. They're green, kind of makes me annoyed, but makes it look Christmassy, right? See what we do, not sure if you guys can really tell, but these rows we have not ran it through behind me. And then these ones we have, we run two. We have another one that's an eight row and we're running that in, out in front. It's already done this field and a few other fields. And then we will come and run this one. These kind of just help knock off the top of the rows here and lower it a little bit so we can come in with the harrow and really flatten it and knock it down to wet ground. That's it for this video. Go subscribe, like the video, peace out.